Okay. Okay. Good day, everyone. Yes. Today I want to demonstrate Wi-Fi. I think previously, previously I have do some video regarding all are connected by LAN, but now I have do some modification that is a running Wi-Fi for indoor station. Outdoor, I still running for cable. Okay. But usually people are doing like that. Okay. So I don't want to explain more over over here. So I straight away go to a setup. Okay, this is a Wi-Fi system. I already created my SSID and the password as well. And this all is under reset mode. That means it's new. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how I am going to activate. This is my main door in main door station and this will be my extension unit. Okay, so now I'm doing the demonstration. Okay, first of all, I doing this the password first. I think activation is no problem, but I still have to go through that because for some new people get able to do as well okay this is the way we put the password it, we activate it okay for this on everything skip because we are connecting wi-fi so you click over here this is registration password this password is using for sip so you have to key in also you just everything put the same will be enough Okay, done over here, then next on it, next on it. Okay, this, you're not able to search because you haven't connected to a Wi-Fi yet. Finish. Okay, done over here, we go into the setting. Then go into the Wi-Fi, enable the Wi-Fi. It takes some time for them to refresh. Okay, done ready, you go, you press your Wi-Fi and put your password. I-F-I-H-O-M-E, one, two, three. This is my Wi-Fi password. Uh, follow my SSID. Okay, you wait. You wait until show connecting and have have a take over here. Mm -hmm. Then after that, mm -hmm. then after that, you go to the this part. Mm -hmm. Go to a configuration. Enter the password to enter the menu, okay. because we need go through the setting. Okay, over here. Do you notice they have uh, this? logo over here this is how we program oh you click this one and click this one okay they will automatically search the device this is already connected by LAN so you're able to search out so now we're going to activate it you press this for activate okay okay even though he show activating field but it's activated okay I refresh it it takes some time sir we are going out and coming back again. Okay, we activate again because sometimes the news because the wireless transmitting it takes times. Okay, I think it's going too soon. Okay, it's activated, but the IP haven't do yet. So we have to select change the IP, but for this case, I just pick make a static IP. Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Okay, even though you said that there, you show it operating field, but e they also are doing the setting as well. You refresh it. It might be applied two times because there is a Wi-Fi transmitting. <coughs> okay, I try one more time again. Okay, done. The IP is changed already. Finally, oh, okay, it's take time. You need sometimes you need repeating because your wireless is not by using that. Okay, you take already. They have a take. You come over here. 
you coming you go coming back because there is time out you make sure the setting is running like that will be enough okay as long he connected done ready everything so now it's already connected so i i present this be able to connect it okay now it's time to do the extension unit okay so over the extension unit over this extension unit you as usual you have to do the activation skip and skip Okay, over here you change to the extension. Okay, then registration password you just put back the registration password that we are using. I mean one two three. Okay, done over here. We press next. Of course, we cannot search it out because we will not connect to the Wi-Fi yet. Finish. Okay, over here you see that I have a setting doing exactly the doing the same thing. Going to Wi Fi, connect by using SSID. So we enable the Wi Fi, wait for the Wi Fi detect, click on it, put the Wi Fi password. Wi Fi home O M E 1 2 3. I think it's correct, right? Wi Fi home 1 2 3. Okay. So wait for the connection. Okay, connecting, done. So now done ready, now we go into this part, go into a configuration. Okay, now I'm going to the configure the uh, indoor. So we click this one also, connecting to this guy. Okay, so we go coming over here, they were searching. Let him, it's take time. Okay, going out again. Okay, going in back. Okay, I just double check one thing regarding the Wi Fi. Yeah, it's connected. Then go into the setting configuration. Make sure there is a connecting everything. Okay, it's connected ready. Place this. So after that, you're going to see done ready the IP. Okay, so everything are performing very well. So you see the Wi-Fi are connected. Extension number. They, maybe they have some decoding, but they have uh, they still functioning because it's depend on wireless. Okay, so this part is settled. Okay, so it's going still can able to answer the call or calling each other also can. It's exactly without cabling. Like example, I do an example here. I do a calling. I take the answer call. Okay. Hello, hello. Sorry for the wave. Okay, done for this part. But now I want to do is create stability because these two are running DHCP. It's wireless, so I need to static on it. So come to take over my laptop here. So as we know, we have to understand this is the HIK website SITP. So we have to understand which of the MAC address. So over here, do you see they have a MAC address? Okay. So this MAC address, we are referring to the IP. So we have to do the IP reserve on the router side. So we're going to the router. You press, you, you enter your router. Okay. Then ask for the password. Usually what we're going to do on it. Okay. We're going. For some router that have a more majorly they have an IP reserve this part. So you go into advanced, go to a network, go to a uh, usually on the LAN setting. If not on the LAN, okay. LAN setting, do you see the address reservation? Okay, you press add. You have to reserve certain IP address and the MAC address for this particular. So I make it scan. Do you see 103 and 104 and 102? Okay, so we check. This IP is running currently right now is 103 and 104. 
So 103, we plus on it, then we save on it. Okay, another part also doing the same thing. Uh, 104 also, we scan on it, looking for 104. Scan one more time. Even though it's not not detected, we have we can do another way. We go refresh again the page and done it again. Address restoration. Scan again. Sorry, it's not running. So we have to do manually. So my address 104, my my address 104, and this is my MAC address, okay? So going back to this page. We key in manually 2418. C six seven a zero nine thirty eight. Okay, we save on it. Okay, this is show that this MAC address are permanently running for this IP and this permanently for running IP. So this DHCP will be easily run. So this this system will be permanently stable. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope this, hope this video can help you guys. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.